One of my other favorite games that I have kind of trailed off from was uh, BDSM. BDSM stands for Big Drunk Satanic Man. Actually, wait, hold on. No, wait, wait. Maybe I shouldn't do BDSM. B no, wait, wait, stop, no! Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and back to Wombo.art. If you're unfamiliar with what Wombo.art is, it's basically an AI generating art app in which you put a prompt, you select an art style, and then it just generates, well, art. I don't know, you get it once we get into it. And today's theme is gonna be video games. Old games, new games, games that I played on the channel and games that I like and games that came to mind when I wrote down my list. I can't not start a video game themed anything without going straight into Sonic the Hedgehog. Sonic the Hedgehog was the first video game I ever played as a child. I'm wondering, what was your first video game? Let me know, let me know. Let's go with Darley. Let's see what a melty Sonic would look like. If you don't know who Salvador Darley is, he had a really pointy mustache and he made art that melted. Think of the melting clocks that you see. Wow, this is, uh, well, I mean, it's Sonic-esque. It's more just a blob, which I guess is, you know, Darley's art style, in a way. That was that, that was an interesting result for Sonic. Let's see, maybe maybe let's go with uh, Vibrant. I think Sonic the Hedgehog is uh, quite a bit of a vibrant game. Well, I mean, I'm talking about the first game, the first ever game that came out with Sonic. We've got plenty of games to have gone through. This, I think, might just be, it's looking like the one that looks most like, no, I, I don't know what that is. I, I can't even lie to you. I, it kind of looks like a Sonic. What is this? We didn't even get close! Okay, so Sonic was a bit of a bust. Uh, let's go with one of my other childhood favorite games, Spyro the Dragon! Uh, maybe a rose gold, a rose gold art style. This is kind of a really pretty art style that reminds me a little bit of, um, like Japanese gardens and uh, tapestries. Maybe not tapestries, but, you know, the... Oh, what are they called? What are they called? The really pink trees! Oh, I love them! Cherry blossom trees! Those ones! Cherry blossom trees. Wow! That is actually some really cool artwork. It does not look anything like Spyro the Dragon. It's cool, I like it. Let's go Spyro again. Uh, but I want to try... Uh, I'm not even gonna try and pronounce that. I should know, I should know how to pronounce that. Oh, there we go. No, oh, no, you had it. For a second there, you had it. There was something a little more Spyro-esque there. I mean, it's very purple and you get the yellow part, right? That's, that's nothing. This is nothing. Swing and a miss. We're gonna try that again. And whilst we're trying that again, I'm gonna Google this name and see how it's pronounced. Pronounce. Wait, is this just watercolor? I thought this was an artist's name. It looks like it is. Hold on, let me go to Google Translate. Did you? Did I mean watercolor? No. What is? What is this word? How to pronounce that? That's not even the thing that I looked for. How to pronounce that? Yeah. Wuchter, wuchter, cooler, wuchter, cooler, wuchter, cooler. Right, whatever. Screw you, Google, and your lack of knowledge. Which is another thing I never thought I would say. I'm saying a lot of things I never thought I would say in the recent videos. Aha! There we go. There's a gremlin looking little spyro popping up. Oh, wow. The eyeball. The eyeball really. Okay, well, it's gotten a little more surprised. Less surprised, more focused. I mean, if you use your imagination, you get a Spyro there. I mean, you know, there's there's his brow, his eye, his nose. Uh, wings, I guess. Whatever the hell this is, some kind of falcon claw. His horns, kinda, uh, you know. I'm gonna give that one to you, Spyro. Love you, man. Keep, uh, keep on, keep on dragging. Moving on, we've got another childhood favorite of mine and one of the... I don't think I've actually played. A, I don't think I've played uh, Spyro or Crash Bandicoot on the channel, but I do remember I streamed it back when I actually used to do stream. Crash Bandicoot. Let's see what a psychic-looking Crash Bandicoot would be looking like, huh? That'll be interesting to see, right? Right? At least it'll be interesting to see, and not some weird, crazy amalgamation of just random-ass colors that look like some kind of blob. Uh, yeah. Is that? Is this eyeball hanging out of his face? Yeah, okay. You can kind of see a bandicoot there. Let's give him a fair try. What does HD look like? What does Crash Bandicoot look like in HD? Give us a HD drawing of Crash Bandicoot. Wombo Gumbo. Wombo Gumbo. Wombo Wombo. Wombo dot art. The hell is that? You've given me bricks. You've literally given me bricks. 
I asked for a bandicoot. What the hell is this? This looks like somebody's littered in a, a nice looking garden road. I asked for a bandicoot. You gave me bricks. Let's give him one more chance. Let's give him some dark fantasy. What would Crash Bandicoot look like in a dark fantasy? And I don't want to know your dark fantasies about Crash Bandicoot, but if you really have to tell me, feel free to comment it. I'm sure YouTube will maybe keep the comment there or not. I don't know. I'm not too bothered. I'd like to hear your dark, dark fan- no. No, I'm just gonna stop there. I don't want to know any of your dark fantasies or fantasies about Crash Bandicoot. What is this? Is this one- is this supposed to be one of the cheeky heads that you find amongst the levels? What is that? Where is the Bandicoot? There is zero Bandicoot! Is that an eyeball? And that an eyeball? And this is gaping mouth? This is horrifying. This is a nightmare. Why did I do this? I'm gonna save it, but I'm not gonna give you a title. You don't deserve one! I can't continue going with Sonic and not have the Mario Brothers. Let's see how messed up we go with these guys. Uh, mystical? What would a mystical Mario bro look like? Some kind of, okay. That's, um, that's a thing. Oh, okay. Yeah, this is kind of looking a bit more like a Mario and Luigi-esque looking thing. Okay, well, I kind of thought you were going to keep going and build upon the foundation here that you built. No, you just stopped at mud, which is fine. The Mario Bros. Mario Bros. <laughs> It's a me, Mario. <laughs> I mean, you can kind of see the hat and Boba Fett. Is that you? Instead of Mario Bros, let's go with Super Mario. Maybe Super Mario would come up with something a little less mud. Providence. I'm not 100% sure what Providence art is referring to. But then again, I didn't know what the hell what the cooler is supposed to say. So I'm not exactly the best person to be judging art names. Okay, well this is uh, looking a little more mosaic. It's almost like there was a mosaic art piece from, you know, like those little tiles that, that, that you smash up and then you create pictures out of. It looks like that, only they put the pieces in the wrong place and you get this tentacle monster looking thing. Looks like a lunchbox, a little bit. I wouldn't want to eat out of it. Screw it. Let's see what a melty Mario looks like. Come on, Mario. Melt for me, baby. Melt for me. That's a weird thing to have said. It's almost like I'm putting him in like a microwave. If you put Mario in a microwave, what do you get? Probably a... You know what? I'm not going to go there. I'm not going to go there. Um, I see what you were going for, but it didn't turn out the way I'd hoped. I don't know what the hell this is. Let's move on from Super Mario Brothers and uh, iconic uh, gaming figures in the past. Now, the suggestion that inspired me to go with video game characters and stuff like that uh, was from Ezo. And I believe she said video games that I have played on the channel. So we've done the video game mascots, which I thought would be interesting. That turned out the way it turned out. Let's go with some video games that I've played on the channel. The most recent video game that I've finished on the channel is that of Antichamber. It was a cool kick-ass puzzle game and I had loads of fun. Now let's see what the hell this thing pops up for. Let's find, ah, fantasy. What is, what is fantasy art pop up for the Antichamber? If you haven't seen the series, it is an incredible puzzle game where you basically walk around I guess you would still call it a complex? And you have to use cubes and cube mechanics and all sorts. It's really hard to describe. It's just an awesome, excellent mind fuck. That which I would 100% recommend playing, if not watching the series. This is just a building. I mean, I guess technically you're just in a building, but I mean, there's a lot more to it. It's a lot more intuitive and fun. And I'm not even saving this. This just looks like a skyscraper. Nah, I'm not impressed, Wombo. You've got something to the... Uh... What do you call it? Something to prove to me. You know, antechamber is a really, um, a really niche word. This, to me, this looks like a clamp. Let's try antechamber video game. Let's see what pops up with that. Sure, let's try Vibrance. It's a very vibrant game at the best of times. And it was very much a mind-screwing, uh, experience. And I enjoyed it. It was good. This is looking very interesting. Absolutely nothing like what antechamber is. But interesting, that's not to say anti-chamber isn't interesting, but this, this is not anti-chamber. Is that a car? Like a flying Hot Wheels? What is, what is this? Let's see what HD pops up. HD did not do f go well for Crash. Let's see if HD goes well for the anti-chamber. Oh, okay. So apparently HD really likes its bricks. What the hell does that say? Ujit, Ujit, U-J-I-T-T-E. This is green stuff, it's just bricks. It's bricks again. Let's be honest. If, you, if I if I showed you the game Antichamber and then I put it next to this, you would not think they were related. But okay, that's uh, that's that's done. The next video game that pops up a lot on my channel is Fortnite. Now it's not the kind of Fortnite you think it is. No, no, no. It's me having fun with friends. A lot of the time we're just doing stupid things, and it's great to put on the channel. 
That is what my Fortnite experience is. I might do another death run uh, coming up soon. That sounds like fun. Wrecking my brain, but we're just gonna find the right one. But for now, let's see what Fortnite looks like in the Wombo Art thing. What would steampunk Fortnite look like? Ooh, it looks like a throne. Okay, it did look like a throne. I'm trying to think, is this? Would you, would you say Fortnite with this? I don't think I would say Fortnite with this. But then Fortnite's not really steampunk, is it? Vibrant Fortnite. Let's see what pops up with vibrancy. Because Fortnite, from my experience, is a very vibrant game. Full of all kinds of fun and stupidity. And all kinds of goofiness. Now this, this is looking more like what a Fortnite island looks to me. I mean, you have to squint really tightly. I think my eyes are just closed at this point. I can't see anything. But that is much closer than what we had before. Anyway, moving on from Fortnite, one of the other games that I've been playing recently, which I'm having a lot of, is Happy's Humble Burger Farm. Now, this I thought was just a really horrific kind of uh, horror-esque cooking simulator. It got really weird at the end of the last episode. Let's see what dark fantasy pops up with Happy Humble Burger Farm. I want to see if, uh, if, oh. Okay, that looked like intestines for a second there. I want to see if the uh, the cow or the piggy or the chicken or whatever the hell else is out there to murderize you. The naked guy running around the kitchen streaking with his wanger and then exploding. Not in the fun way. That looks like a living burger. We have a nose and teeth and yeah, but you can kind of see the happy humble burger farm uh, neon sign. It kind of worked out. It's just synth wave. What would a happy humble burger farm in synth wave look like? I cannot wait to play more of that game. I really want to see uh, where it goes, where the conspiracy goes. Especially now that I've kind of, I've, I've got a theory in my head. I've not watched any other play, YouTubers play it or anything like that. So I've got a theory in my head of what is happening in Happy Humble Burger Farm. And I'm really interested to see if I'm close or on the money or anything like that, or if I'm way off. Uh, but in any case, this looks like some kind of giant growth of a burger. I mean, obviously you got the burger there, but if you've seen those documentaries about how if humans had disappeared off the face of the planet in like 10 years or 100 years or so, plant growth and, and life would have grown over buildings and whatnot. This is that, except a giant burger popped out of the top as well. A game that for whatever reason I cannot explain exploded on my channel. Um, happy game. I don't know why. Uh, I was myself in that game as much as I was in any other game, but Happy Game was freaking insane and the most psychotic game I have ever played. Very traumatic, very traumatizing. Pretty sure I mentally blocked most of it out. And as it's freaky, a freaky, freaky game, let's go with etching. Let's see what Happy Game comes up with for etching. If you haven't seen the series, got an entire playlist for you if you like. Uh, go check it out. Very, yeah. Yeah, this, yeah, that looks like the kid's head. Okay, yeah, this is. This is on par! This is on brand! That is... I don't know. I don't know what that is. But it's messed up. Like, you got the face there, and the face there? I'm gonna quickly go past this one, because, yeah, this was bringing up some weird memories in my head of the game, and I... Oof. <laughs> I'm glad I played that game in one sitting, but editing it... Oh, my God. Okay, here we go. I'm interested to see if, like, the big happy faces that were the bosses come up, or if it's just the monsters and whatnot. Or if it's just gonna be a set of buildings that look really nice, and, like a harbor-looking kind of thing. What is this? What the? Uh, this is nice. This is nothing of what I thought it would be. Yeah. Yeah, this is, uh, this is a thing. Happy place. Yeah, there you go. Next is a series that I have, um, I guess you could say temporarily ended. I kind of want to bring back. I had a kick-ass RP series called Dixie Normus because I was a child and naming my character, and I had a lot of fun with it. I feel like I want to restart a new series coming up with that, but we'll have to wait and see. If anything, I feel like the Elder Scrolls v Skyrim, the whole artwork version of it, would be some kind of a dark fantasy, and it is not disappointing. That looks like some kind of weird Daedric Prince looking thing, and I am into it. Look at that, or maybe like the Forsworn with their um, with their antlers and their their barbaric looking armor. That is pretty cool. I I like that. Let's see, what would a vibrant Skyrim look like? I I really want to make another series of Skyrim. Skyrim was so much fun, especially the role playing factor of it. I'd never done a role play series before, and with Skyrim, it felt it came so easy to me because it just it was easy to bounce off, especially with the weird mods that I had going on. Uh, you, you have to watch the series to get a good look at that. A lot of bugs. A lot of bugs. 
This, I can see the aesthetic. Like, I can see the environment of Skyrim, but I don't know. Oh, that's actually looking a bit like the guard's armor now that I'm looking at it. And this, maybe a mammoth? Mammoth and a giant? I, hmm, hmm the interpretation, it's, it's, it's wild, it's wild. Uh, I'm gonna go with guard the mammoth, because that's what it reminds me of. Let me know what you think it looks like. But yes, I very much did enjoy playing Skyrim. I love playing Skyrim to death. I will probably do another series on it. I didn't see. Till then, though, uh, one of my other favorite games that I have kind of trailed off from was uh, BDSM. So let's see what we get with that one. BDSM stands for Big Drunk Satanic. Actually, wait, hold on. No, wait, wait. Maybe I shouldn't do BDSM. B no, wait, wait, stop. No, this is not what I meant. No, blur it, blur it all. <laughs> this can't go on YouTube. Oh, okay, that's a thing. Let's go back out of that one. The name of the game is Big Drunk Say. Satanic Massacre. Yeah, that's the one. Massacre. Okay. Yeah, that should come up with something slightly more safe for YouTube. Anyway, did I do Brock? Did I do what did I do? We're going prominent. We're prominent. So, yeah, you're are you Satan? I think you're Satan. Yeah, I think you're playing as Satan, and you're in hell. It's a top-down orthographic twin stick shooter and you go around saving imps and I don't know. I actually can't remember, but it was really, really fun. And yeah, this um this is awful. I don't really know what I was expecting when I had Massacre in the title. Let's go, let's go fantasy here. Let's see what pops up. Yep, yep, that's looking like something biblical, which makes sense, I guess. The big drunk satanic massacre. Yeah, that's not like the video game I thought of. I'm gonna make sure that I put up the title or the artwork or a thumbnail that I have made of Big Drunk Satanic Massacre because I don't, I honestly don't think this is coming across. This is doing it justice. Let's go with Doom, Doom Eternal. That was a fun game that I played. Let's go with, yeah, Doom's gotta be dark fantasy, right? Right? It's Doom. How could it not be dark fantasy? Oh, uh, yes, look at that. That is looking swish. You can see kind of like the hell demons and it reminds me of the, the cover artwork where he's standing on the top of the mountain, he's shooting down. But then you've got like these horns and the flames. Uh, it's just very, it's very hellish. It's got the nightmarish uh, look. I kind of want to see what a vibrant Doom Eternal would look like. Vibrant, what would a vibrant, because you can get a unicorn skin for uh, the Doom Slayer, if I recall correctly. Holy crappioli, look at that thing. That looks sick. Ah, oh, I might even save this as a phone background. Look at that. <laughs> it's kind of looking like that's his helmet and he's got like flames coming out of it or maybe he's pulling something apart. I don't even know. Maybe it's some kind of like a fortress on top of uh, uh, in the background and then there's like these demon teeth and the mauling at something and blood spilling over the sides and waterfalls and oh, it's just, this is cool. Yeah, I'm really impressed with that one. I am, I am, I am. All right, let's finish it off with a classic game. I think everybody knows by now. I've played the most recent version and my God, the caves and cliffs updates and whatnot, it looks stunning and amazing. If I could think some kind of theme to come up with for a series, I would very much like to play another Minecraft series. I, I just, I don't know what to do in it. But we shall see, what you see. If you have some suggestions for that, let me know. But uh, yeah, let's go, let's see, let's see what happens, Minecraft. You know, I kind of want to say I'm disappointed in the fact that it's popped up with bricks, but then what is Minecraft if not just a bunch of square bricks, or cubed bricks? This is not what I would call a Minecraft looking, looking, looking piece of art. But in saying that, maybe it could be like a different dimension. Maybe it's a, uh, maybe it's a crystal dimension. Crystal, we'll go crystal block dimension. It's nice looking, it's very pretty artwork. I just don't think it resembles Minecraft at all. But you know what? I'm interested to see what rose gold Minecraft looks like. All gold bricks and and uh, and the new flowers that you can get. Is it, it's not acacia flowers, is it? Is it acacia? I don't know, the pink flowers. The brand new flowers that come up with the moss trees and stuff like that. Very pretty ones. That didn't turn out at all what I was describing. This is, um, this is more bricks. Come on, Wombo, don't just give me bricks. This is about as, Broad is my thinking of when I'm wanting to make a series of Minecraft. I'm gonna give you one more chance, Wombo. Impress me. Impress me with a fantasy art style of Minecraft. Impress me, baby. You know you want to. You know you want to make me happy. Okay. It's a building. Okay, no, it's, uh, it's turned. No, yep, it went back into a building. <sighs> I don't know. Sometimes you get cool stuff, sometimes you get whatever the hell this is. Maybe Wombo's tired. Wombo's had a long, long day. We've been at this for a little while. Anyway, that's, uh, you know what? 
you know what? As we're doing video games that I've done on my channel, I, I, I have to go with my channel. Let's see what comes up with, uh, when I type in my channel name. Awesome Warp! What do we got? I'm a mystical kind of guy. Let's go with a mystical art style. Is it gonna be a my face all melty and whatnot? Or is it gonna be some weird looking, uh... What the hell is that? It kind of looks like a... Uh, well that looks like a ship, for one. Like the Flying Jolly Roger from Peter Pan. And then you got some kind of Aurora Borealis thing going on, maybe? I don't know what this fish maggot looking person looking thing is. Definitely nothing to do with me. I don't know. I don't know how to interpret this. I don't know what this means for my channel, but it's what I'm going to leave with. So, yeah. Thank you so much for watching. If you've got any more suggestions of what I should do for Wombo, leave the suggestions down below. Thank you guys so much for watching. Have yourselves a good one, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye! Subscribe! I did, and it was fun! I want to do it again! Oops, I unsubscribed! Don't do that! Revert! Abort! What the hell is this supposed to be? What is that?